Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the Native News Update. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's news for today from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. More than a dozen tribes and tribal organizations have been awarded funding for new solar projects from the Triber Solar Accelerator Fund. The tribal-led initiative with seed funding from Wells Fargo aims to catalyze the growth of solar energy and expand solar job opportunities in tribal communities across the United States. Funding for new tribal facilities and residential solar energy projects, including matching funds for Department of Energy grants, will help further tribal energy security and resilience, workforce training, and build tribal energy sovereignty. To see the full list of grantees, you can check out tribalsolaraccelerator.org. According to the American Dental Education Association, Nearly 10,500 students applied to attend dental school in the United States this fall, but just 16 of those students are Native American. The Native American Pre-Dental Study Gateway Program, an initiative between the UB School of Dental Medicine and Seneca Nation Health System, aims to reduce the alarming disparity by introducing Native American students to careers in dentistry. The program, now in its second year, provides several students with a week-long internship that allows participants to experience the various disciplines and specialties within the dental profession. This year, the program, which is open to Native American students and Indian Health Service dental staff, drew five students from Idaho, Kansas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. The Native American Pre-Dental Student Gateway Program aims to expand to 15 students next year and offer similar internships for students interested in other medical fields. The program is partially funded by the United South and Eastern Tribes, an organization comprised of 27 tribal nations dedicated to serving the health and economic needs and addressing the environmental concerns of Native Americans. Washington's coastal tribes have started a two-week trek as they participate in the 2019 Intertribal Canoe Journey. The Paddle to Lummi will include stops including welcoming ceremonies of song, dance, and potlucks on North Olympic Peninsula beaches. The journey culminates as canoes land at the Lummi Nation on July 24th. Officials are expecting 10,000 people and more than 100 canoes to land on the tribal shores. For more information, you can check out paddlethelummy.org. The Native Arts and Culture Foundation has announced its first five Community Inspiration Program Native Nations Partnership Award projects. The projects are artist-driven and designed to engage Native peoples in community efforts that address social and cultural concerns. As part of the initiative, the awards aim to support social and projects led by Native artists or artist organizations that engage Native communities towards social progression. The initiative provides funding support ranging from $5,000 to $10,000 for up to two years and requires at least a 50% in-kind or monetary match by tribal nations or organization. To see the list of award winners, you can check out nativeartsandculture.org. Michael Linklater, who plays on the Canadian Elite Basketball League with the Saskatchewan Rattlers, is the new face of the Nike N7 sneaker and athletic wear collection. The Cree athlete from the Thunder Child First Nation started playing basketball at age 11. He is ranked the number one three-on-three basketball player in Canada and 13th in the world. Nike N7 started in 2009 with a goal to provide sport and physical activity programs to kids in Native American and First Nation communities in North America. According to Nike, the N7 Fund has awarded more than $6.6 million in grants to 252 communities and organizations, reaching more than 437,000 Indigenous youth. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and have a grand day. Step into Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center. Come and discover everything we have to offer. Unlimited gaming action. Northwoods Hospitality, delicious all-you-can-eat buffet, relaxation and comfort, great drinks and good times, big wins, big fun. It's all here at Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center in the heart of the great Northwoods.